Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your February 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Sagittarius, this is for you. What is going on with your February 2020? If this resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Sagittarius. For February 2020, for their mid-month reading, what is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on? Ooh, okay. All right, so the universe is on your side here, Sagittarius. You got stabbed in the back. Okay, there was an ending here. There was a betrayal here. But just know, just know that you're going to have a victory, even though you don't feel like you will. Um, karma is most definitely at work. The universe is most definitely at work here and um yeah it's going in your favor this is good luck the wheel is turning things are changing um uh, the universe sees what happened um uh, the universe god source whoever you pray to see they see right what happened here they see what was done to you and um, there are things being put in place so that karma, the universe, the divine can deliver some divine justice to this individual. Um, yeah. Wow. So the universe is at work for you. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, everything's very upside down for you. Um, you're just trying to move forward. You're trying really hard. Um, and it, it's a very difficult situation here. Okay. So this is most definitely a Jesus take the wheel moment. And it's definitely going to be just fine. It's going to work out in your favor. Sagittarius. So let me read the energies of the cards here. If the side of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, right? Because time is fluid. If their sign pops up, all, Sagittarius, all the better. Cross watchers, please do keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay, so the wheel is turning, things are changing, and everything's going in your direction in a positive way. You are the wounded warrior here you were really hurt and now you're on guard and um, you don't know how everything's going to pan out. You're maybe even a little paranoid. You're protecting yourself and what is yours. Your walls are up. Your defenses are up at this time. So you were hurt and now your defenses are up, basically. Nine of Wands, this is fire. The person that you were dealing with very could have very well could have been um, juggling two different people, places, things, probably people. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Two of Pentacles. This has been a very difficult situation for you. Very difficult decisions. You may have been riding the fence on this for a while to really fully end it, but something happened here. Something happened here, and it was just um, 
one too many knives in your back, Sagittarius. Just one too many knives in your back, right? It's a very emotional time for you. You see, you know, it's very rocky water and the ship's going up and down. So your emotions have been quite all over the place in regards to that. Two of Pentacles, that's Earth. There has been a whole lot of games being played, a whole lot of drama, a whole lot of conflict, arguing, fighting, um, over nothing half the time. Five of Wands, jealousy, right? Fear of competition. Maybe there is actually competition here for some of you, or was. But this is conflict. This is heated, arguing, right? A lot of jealousy, a lot of games being played here. Five of Wands, that's more fire energy. All of this <sighs> secrets and juggling and um, fighting and conflict, it all came down to this. An ending. Ten of Swords, this is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One too many knives in your back this time around. And tens are endings, and this was an ending. Something happened here. And it just went a step too far, and we're done. Just all of a sudden, we're done here. Okay? So, we're trying to deal with this now. And now your defenses are up, and now you're the wounded warrior, and you're struggling to have a victory over this. You're struggling to have a victory over this, but you will. You are working hard and focusing on moving on from the situation, but you honestly, it's like you don't even know, you don't even know what's going to happen here. You don't even know where you're going. You just know you got to, to get away from this. So you will have your victory here. This is a victory. You will be seen. There will be other people that will give you attention, that will give you recognition, that will appreciate you more. This is the Six of Wands. This is known as one of the marriage cards in the tarot. So you will, you will be victorious here. It's almost like you want a little bit of justice. And justice will be delivered. But all you have to do is focus on you and your healing and your moving forward. When is it coming? No one knows when karma will strike. Sometimes it's instant. Sometimes it takes years. But it always happens. It always happens. So your advice is to just let things be. Your advice is to embrace the unknown. Embrace these changes. Embrace your emotions, right? You got a lot of hidden emotions in regards to this. Putting on a brave face, sure. Embrace those emotions, right? Pisces, it's the moon card. It's Pisces energy. Embrace your emotions, feel them, let them go, release them, that kind of thing. Hidden um, decisions here, secrets here, um, lots of hidden emotions. And not knowing, not knowing, this is a big mystery, not knowing how things are going to turn out, if it's going to be okay, and just embracing that and going with that. It will be okay. Just know that it will be okay. It's a lot of mystery here. But everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. The universe, the divine is in control of the situation for, for you. you. All you have to do is focus on moving on, getting away from the drama and moving forward. Six of Swords, this is air. Finding your peace, right? Moving towards something else, moving towards someone else. Just moving on, period. It's all you got to focus on. It's all you got to concentrate on. And let Jesus take the wheel. Let the universe do its work. Let karma work its magic. Sagittarius. Because it will. The outcome is justice. Divine justice is here. Um, and it is ruling in your favor. When it comes to this situation. You'd be dealing with a Libra or somebody with strong Libra in their chart. Divine justice is here. This is karma. You will find balance. You will get your justice. All you seriously have to do, Sagittarius, is sit back and watch 
and concentrate on your own well-being and happiness. That's literally all you have to do. The universe is on your side here. You do not have to play any games. You do not have to try to make anyone jealous. You do not have to go down the petty road. No, no. All you got to do is step back, relax, and concentrate on you. That's it. They will receive their karma. They will. All right. This is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. For February 2020. For their mid-month reading. What is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? Yeah. Happiness. Right? All you have to do is concentrate on your happiness. Ten of Cups. If you're in another commitment, concentrate on that. If you're, you know, you're headed towards something so much bigger and better, you don't really know where you're going, maybe you're headed towards this. Ten of Cups, this is water, right? Happiness. This is one of the happier cards in the tarot deck. This is where you're going. Whatever you have been through, it's, it's like been a nightmare. You're moving on. And these readings have been very much like that. Huge transitions, huge changes, tower moments, devil energy. What is going on right now? Lord have mercy. Ten of cups, this is where you're going. Maybe you're headed towards another commitment. Maybe you are concentrating on a commitment, a beautiful commitment that you're already in. Maybe, you know, this, this is simply about your happiness here and your stability, right? That's all you got to do is concentrate on that. There was an ending here, and it was devastating. And it's transformed you. It's transformed um, your way of thinking, your way of seeing things. There's been a lot of obstacles here, but you are well on your way to a brand new beginning. Okay? Let karma take its course with this individual that hurts you. You don't have to do anything, okay? This whole situation has made you realize a lot of things. It's made you realize a lot of things. And, you know, don't waste your time on vengeance, pettiness, nothing. Just concentrate on your happiness and allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. Let's pull some romance angels and see what is going on here for Sagittarius. For February 2020, for their mid-month reading, what is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? Okay, okay. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So concentrate on your healing from this situation. Let karma answer the call for you let the universe do its job you don't have to do nothing like i said all you got to do is concentrate on healing okay and moving forward that's what you're doing you're moving forward to something better you don't know you don't know how everything's going to pan out or work out or whatever the case may be you got a lot of things going on you got a lot of things hidden here but you're moving forward and some of you may be moving on moving forward to someone new here, someone that wants to express their love to you, maybe somebody that you want to express your love to. This is new energy right here. Your happiness, your happiness, move towards it, move towards it. Go ahead and make that rom romantic gesture. Leave this behind, right? Leave this behind. There's no need to waste one more single day even thinking about this heal and move forward heal and move forward that's it that's all you got to do that's it capricorn okay 
I don't know why I just said Capricorn. Sagittarius. <laughs> I don't know why I just said Capricorn. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Capricorn energy. But I'm telling you, these have been some very dramatic readings today. Very highly dramatic. Like I said before, devil energy, um, tower moments, um, betrayal, all this, all this and that. You're not the only one. Um, I don't know what's going on with this energy here, but all you got to do, Sagittarius, is... Let Jesus take the wheel. Let the divine do its work. Let karma work its magic. And you're going to be just fine. You will have a victory over this. And you will move forward towards your happiness. Clearly. Clearly. This is a huge change for you. A huge transformation. But you've got this. Sagittarius, you've got this. Okay? All right. That's what we've got for you for your February 2020 monthly mid-month reading and I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box and do please follow the links because there are some imposters out there pretending to be me, especially on Instagram for some reason. But I want you guys to see the things that I post. So, um, yeah. I'll leave the links down below in the description box. Also, for those of you that are new to the channel, number one, welcome. And um, I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule, you can see when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule... I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time, so check all of that out. That's down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Um, what else? Next week I'll be working on the February 2020 uh, Future Love Reads. The Future Love Reads, so check that out. Sagittarius, if um, I haven't told you, Happy Valentine's Day. If I don't talk to you before then, I hope you have a special day. Treat yourself if you don't have a significant other. I am. <laughs> I definitely am. You guys take very good care of yourself, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.